Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back at you with another UK cat video. One, because it's a really pressing issue at the moment and I, two, I think it's actually quite important to know a little bit more about it, a few more tips and a few more things of that nature. So let's get right into it. So today's video is focusing more on preparation, um, what can you do to prepare for the test, prepare for your UK CAT and that type of thing. Now um, one of my viewers, Ruth, what's up, had asked me a while ago, two weeks ago, to try and find some online resources that were free that would help um, with regards to preparation for the UK CAT. Now, it actually took quite a bit of time. Um, because of course companies want to make money off you guys off you know us medical students and you prospective medical students and so finding good free resources was difficult so i'm going to talk about the most important one today and i've linked a few in the description bar that are just so for example just a verbal reasoning or just a quantitative um reasoning that are not necessarily aimed at the UK cat but are still a similar thing and are still beneficial for practice. So first and foremost book your test. If you haven't booked your test by now I don't know what you're doing because you have just over a month left and um, first of all it's cheaper to do it in August than it is to do it in September. The price goes up in September and we all like saving money, so that's point number one. Point number two, the slots book out, so the closer you get to the time of cutoff, the more, you know, the slots completely book out, so you might end up, first of all, having a time slot that you don't like, or having to go to a venue that you don't like, like, um, you know, having to travel further from your house to do the test because you waited too long to book and all the ones at the test centre near your house are booked up. So you don't want that, like, it's just an added inconvenience. No one wants to be travelling for an hour before doing a test like the UK cat. You kind of just want to get out of bed, you know, hop in the shower and just not have to get up too early to do it or not have to set off too early to do it. And also the nice thing about booking early uh, or booking now or having have booked it now is that you have a date to work towards, you're not rushed. I mean, the worst thing that could happen, I think, is you leave it super late to book and then um, you you like go on the website and they're like, the only dates we have left are next week and you're like, oh no, 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 you know, I have to do it next week. Ah, that's no one wants that. That's not fun. <laughs> So make sure you book nice and early, you have your day and you have something that, you know, the date that you're working towards nice and early. So at least that's one less stressor in a pretty stressful situation. Now, the, like just after looking around, I think the best resource that I've found so far with regards to UK Cat is the official website. So ukcat.ac.uk and that's like the official place, um, it's where you book your test, it's where they have the practice tests, it's where they have all that type of stuff. So if you've not been on that website, if you've not read all their materials front to back, then you should because they're the ones that make the test. So that's the best place really to get anything test wise um, with regards to materials, tips, that type of thing. So that is the most important thing in your browser right now side note if you haven't booked your test you can always so you can always book let's say there's a slot that you like now book it now and if coming closer to the time you can't make it you can always rearrange for you know the following week or two days later or whatever and I think if I'm not mistaken they have a no fee cancellation or no fee rearrangement as long as it's done within um, so for no less than 48 hours so if my test is to if my test is tomorrow then i can't cancel that with a yeah i'll have to lose the money if i cancel that but if my test is in two days time so let's say today is monday if my test is on wednesday i can cancel cancel that or i can rearrange that at no fee at no cost to me like they'll give you your money back or they'll just use that money for 
the test that you're rearranging, that type of thing. So yeah, if if that's better for you to just book, have a date to work towards, and as you come closer, if you feel like actually I'm not that ready, then you can always postpone it further as long as you do it in good time. So yeah, that was a little side note. Back to the official UK Cat website, um, they have something on there. So if you go on the website, you click prepare, um, and on there's a whole lot of resources, talks about a lot of things about how they think you should prepare or basically they put it as in how statistics 75% of people who scored well did XYZ or 50% of people who scored well did XYZ so then you can use your own discretion I think they kind of did it that way so that no one can say oh it says this on the website it says if you do this you score well therefore I did this how come I didn't score well so I think that's kind of why they have that that way so if you go on there, there's something called the Candidate Preparation Toolkit. Have a look at it. Go through it. They didn't put it there for fun. You know, it's there with a purpose. So if you're doing a test that these people created and they create a Candidate Preparation Toolkit, why have you not viewed the Candidate Preparation Toolkit? And I'm sure most of you will be like, of course I've done that, Rumbi. What do you take me for? But some of you will be like, um, what's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, you know, go to the tab bit, open new tab, go on the f official UK Cat website and look at that section and get the toolkit. Because like I say, these are the people that make the test. So there's no better place to get the advice or those things than from the people that actually made the test themselves. They also have something called um, question tutorials and they discuss a little bit stuff about strategy for when taking the test and I think that's what most people really want is some type of strategy, some type of formula to have in the test with them that they can use when they're doing the test and um, it discusses a little bit about that. The most important thing being timekeeping. Um, time is very important in the UK CAT and you have to, you can't be wasting time. If you're dwelling on something, if you're not sure about something, that's time you're wasting. Flag it and move on and then if you have time at the end, okay fine you do it but if you you know don't spend because what can happen is you get so sucked up in doing this one question that before you know it you spent three minutes on one question or two and a half minutes on one question that you know you're frazzled for everything else and it's just like messes up the rest of that section so flag it move on and then if you have time at the end then you will go through that bit but yeah the question tutorial on that UK Cat website goes through a little bit about strategy. So again, a very useful place for you to go and look at. <laughs> and the next thing which is also useful on the UK Cat website is that they have timed tests. So I think they have three um, full tests that are timed. And so you go through them, you do it as if you were doing your normal test. And I would say you do that when you've prepared sufficiently so you've done a little bit of preparation you have your book or whatever and you feel like okay my test is in two weeks time or my test is in three weeks time let me do one test today and just see where I'm at my tests and then like I would say don't use them up too soon because there's only three practice tests and you want to use them up when you feel ready and you literally just those final preparations for your test so yeah that's also another very very useful thing which is on their website that's pretty much it with regards to preparation in my next video i'll talk a little bit about what to expect when you turn up to do your uk cat and what to do if the score you get is not what you were hoping for or not what you think will get you into the unis that you might have wanted so i'll talk about that in my next video and so for now, main aim from today, if you are meaning to apply um, this September, October and you've not booked your UK CAT, the minute you finish watching this video, go on the UK CAT website, book your UK CAT. Like that is aim number one from here today. Next thing, if you're not subscribed, how come? I'm a fine person, you should be subscribed subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave, leave them in the comments section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.